Hello, my friends. I have found my way to Old Sacramento down by the waterfront. We're at Evangeline's because I need some help finding a Halloween costume. And I've been told this is the place to go. So I'm going to head inside, see what they have, and hopefully find a costume. Let's go. All right, everybody, so now we are inside Evangeline's and we're in this room filled with masks and all kinds of creepy costumes. I'm joined by Teague and he's kind of helping us out today. First of all, tell me, what are the top costumes that people are asking for this year? Gotcha, so top costumes that people are asking for this year, we have Pennywise, is really popular from the new It movie coming out. We also have Joker that's relatively popular right now. We can't seem to keep enough of those on the shelf. <laughs> and we just have tons more things that so many people are asking for. Well, I guess if you come in here, you're sure gonna get an idea of what to be and there's so many things to pick from. I'm super oh, yeah. overwhelmed. Now, is it too late? I mean, Halloween's almost here. Oh, definitely. I mean, Halloween's almost here, but it's never too late. Some things you can just throw together super easy. We always have a lot of decades costumes. We always have a lot of classic horror that you can choose from. Even if you just slap some fangs in your mouth, throw some blood in there, go as a traditional vampire, super easy to do. It's never too late for a good So costume. if someone comes in last minute, you guys can kind of help them figure it out. Yeah, we can show them around. We can help them out, piece something together. We can definitely make sure that they're going to have something to wear. So speaking of help, I needed some help figuring out a Halloween costume. So Teague pulled some items mm -hmm. for me. Tell everybody what I'm going to be trying on. Gotcha. So today you're going to be trying on Astronaut. It's completely out of this world. Pretty popular right out now. Out of this it's world. Super comfortable to wear. <laughs> we also pulled some decade stuff for you. You got your 80s, you got your 70s disco. Super easy to do, super comfortable. And we also pulled a Renaissance dress for you to try out. Renaissance is relatively popular, particularly with Game of Thrones just ending. Everyone wants to get a part of that Renaissance. All right. Action. Sounds like we've got a lot of colors, a lot of variety. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to pick. I'm going to go ahead and try some of this stuff on and let's see what, what's going to work. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Anytime. All right, it is time for me to figure out what costume I'm going to wear. I'm heading into the fitting rooms. This one is themed hell. Wish me luck, everybody. All right, 80s babies. Got this little track suit here. We got the neon, little fresh Prince of Bel Air, little material girl with my headband. What do you think? This is the Renaissance costume. He was saying it's really popular with the end of Game of Thrones. And I've got a crown, I'm feeling very regal. And this crushed velvet is super, super comfy. Houston, we have a problem. This one's called Lift Off, and it's obviously a NASA theme. I am digging the orange. What do you think? Last but not least, the Starflower Hippie. Groovy, baby. Yeah. Okay, everybody, so those are my four costumes. We've got the 80s rocker, the Renaissance, the astronaut, or will it be the hippie? You'll have to tune in tomorrow morning to find out what my Halloween costume's gonna be.